Hi everyone, it's an honor to be here at MWC 2024 in Barcelona and uh, let me introduce two people, one from Blackview, one from FLIR. So first of all, let me introduce Amanda Lee, he is the sales manager of Blackview, you know, the rugged phone company, globally renowned, and the other guy from FLIR, he is Daniel Javis, and he is the senior director of business development OEM at Teledyne FLIR. Hi, nice to meet you here. Nice to meet, nice to you. meet you. And first of all, let me interview Daniel and we can speak about uh, the new phone, the BL9000 Pro and some thermal imaging solutions. So hello Daniel again and nice to meet you here at MWC 2024. So what are the impressions that mostly affected you in thermal imaging solutions and what can you tell me about you know, the collaboration with Blackview? Oh, that's a great question, and welcome everyone, Mobile World 2024. Uh, I think one of the most interesting things about Blackview as a company is the people. And that's one of the first things I noticed when I went to go visit. With all of our customers, uh, because we need to have a real intimate relationship with them, because we supply a sensor that goes into something else that they promote on their brand, it's important for us to have that collaboration in a really tight relationship, so that if something goes wrong, you know, we don't get mad at each other, we just solve the problem, right? Mm -hmm. And I think one of the first things I noticed about Blackview was the people. And the people really wanted to do something different. They'd been selling ruggedized phones, they'd been selling ruggedized tablets, they'd been starting to get into different markets. And here was a technology that was adopted by one particular brand, but they saw it as a great opportunity to hit a different market in the region, if you will, in the world, and go after it. And that's what impressed me, is just their desire, their willingness, their motivation, and just overall their relationship that they have with the supplier as well as with their customers. And I guess the fans are very curious about the phones, uh, like so many people are here. Yeah. And moreover, there's the new phone, which has the biggest thermal imaging solution, because resolution, it, uh, it is the BL9000 Pro. So what can you say about that device? which are the most standout features? Yeah, the, the BL9000 Pro is Blackview's first Lepton 3.5 integration. Mm -hmm. And again, so this is an example, if you will, of the actual sensor that we incorporate into the BL9000 Pro. And this is what's called the Lepton 3.5. And in the past, Blackview had launched many phones. So I think this is our fifth generation phone with them. This shows you the long standing relationship mm -hmm. we've had with them, yeah, right? the trust between us. Um, the other, the other sol uh, solutions used a Lepton 2.5, and they used what's called uh, a MyFLIR Pro app. Mm -hmm. And it's an app that we developed, um, and it was very successful. But the Lepton 3.5 has more pixels has smaller pixels, mm -hmm. has a different lens, which gives a little bit more narrow field of view so you can see a little bit further. And then it incorporates, which is really unique in the industry now, is the MyFLIR Pro app. Mm -hmm. And the Pro app was usually only reserved. We had an exclusive agreement with another company that's no longer mm -hmm. to have the MyFLIR Pro. So this is the first time that we've allowed another manufacturer of a ruggedized phone to have access to the MyFLIR Pro app as well as an SDK, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. So we're really excited to have what I would call a replacement to a, a defunct company that no longer exists for all those people that were looking to upgrade that phone. Here it is. This is a great opportunity. Yeah, I've heard that some financial issues with Bullet and Cat exist. So maybe you were talking about that. But I was using phones like this, and I was reviewing phones by the Fleur Pro apps. So I like it so much because uh, you can just show to the people that it's the thermal imaging sensor, how it works and it's hot or not, the phone or anything else. Or if you are just going inside your home and oh, somewhere it is cold. Right. So you can use it so various uh, types of rooms and situations. And what is the future? How can you imagine the future? What would be a game changer maybe in the future? I think there's a couple of things that are a game changer. And I think one of the things that made the other companies successful that we're hoping Blackview will, will also adopt and, and become very successful as well is business to consumer is one thing. So selling retail, selling mm -hmm. that. You, you reach people, right? But thermal imaging isn't necessarily, um, I'd say the end all be all in terms of a consumer market but it is extremely helpful for the professional market. Mm -hmm. So B2B 
as well as be the professional. So home inspectors, electricians, plumbers, um, you know, other real estate agents, you know, you, you name it, anyone that wants to inspect something for energy efficiency, mechanical problems, et cetera. And one of the things that we have as a company at FLIR is we have 99.9% .9 of the companies out there that are in maintenance, electrical, substation inspection, roofing inspection, et cetera, use our technology. They have our cameras. Mm -hmm. These cameras are much more expensive. And not every company can afford to give all their employees a 4,000 US dollar handheld camera, yep. right? But they give their companies and their workforce electricians ruggedized phones because they don't want them to be destroyed while they're working. Mm -hmm. So here's the great opportunity to combine thermal imaging with rugged, and now you have a force multiplier, and now your employees have thermal, and now they can collaborate with the people that have the more expensive systems. Mm -hmm. So if you understand, so if I'm a maintenance person and I'm walking around and I hear a machine make noise, I can grab my BL9000 Pro, take a look and say, that machine looks very different than this machine thermally. Mm -hmm. And so I save the image and because it's a connected device, I can email that image to the person that is what's called a thermographer, an yep. expert that uses a more expensive system, right? And he can actually use the same software platform. Mm -hmm. The FLIR software package works with the BL9000 Pro and our more expensive systems. So, so the can, ecosystem works very well. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's the future in terms of B2B and professional, and the ability to have the same ecosystem mm -hmm. so you don't have to change it. I mean, why is SAP successful and some of these yeah. other CRM, right? It's the ecosystem. The ecosystem. Every, FLIR every is the company only is. company that has apps and SDK for enterprise Right, so we can mm -hmm. actually take the BL9000 Pro, yeah. and you can actually download our SDK, and a company could actually develop their own app mm -hmm. to interface with their app to be able to accomplish a task and mm -hmm. solve a problem. So yeah. that's where the future is, is that collaboration the ecosystem. Yeah. Or the B2B. Yeah, you know, nowadays the software is, is uh, very important, and, oh, it's and the hardware cool. also. But the hardware are very strong, so the software should be uh, collaborating with the hardware. So Absolutely. it's very nice. And how, John, last one, well, just one last question. Sure. Uh, that maybe not only phones, or you can use it in every other devices. How can you imagine the future with Blackview, the collaboration? How can you spread it? Well, I, I'm biased because I've worked for FLIR for 20 plus years. Yeah. So I think everyone needs a thermal camera. Yeah. Right. There's a lot of applications for thermal imaging, but if we look at the mobile space. What has not happened yet is what I had said, the B2C in terms of getting the device in something like this, right? This mm -hmm. is a very elegant design phone, very practical, it's lower cost. The, really the question is who is going to make the jump and put this technology into a more consumer phone, uh, phone to be able to do things like you hear something outside of your home, you open the window and with your phone you can see if something is out there, whether it be an animal, a person, you know, et cetera. Your car has a problem. Before you take it into the auto shop, you yep. can do a scan yourself, right? Those type of people typically aren't going to buy a, a larger mobile ruggedized phone. You know, mm -hmm. they, they have their iPhones or Samsungs, and hopefully they have a product like this. So to me, the other future of this technology is making the sensors small enough mm -hmm. so that it can fit in those phones and go from there. And, and fortunately for us, the Lepton could actually fit in this phone. Yeah, that's why wanted I, to. I wanted to say that it's... Right. It's now it is small, so it's very small. Imagine. Yeah, right. It's it, from a Z, the, the biggest challenge is the Z height, uh -huh. so it's, you know, this dimension, yeah. right? And this device can actually be shrunk. We have some things we can do up our sleeve, and we could actually fit it into uh, an iPhone today, if you will. Oh, yeah. Um, so and, and the future is not so far away. I don't think the future is far away. I think it's going to take someone to make that leap, mm -hmm. to understand that there's a market, mm -hmm. and, and go after that market. I mean, uh, I take a look at Pixel. Market. Yeah. Do you know Pixel 8? Yeah. What's in their sense system? They have a temperature sensor. Temperature sensor. Where'd they get that idea? <laughs> right? So we trust in the future. Yeah. It, so, will happen. it will happen. It so will we're happen. excited. Thank you very much for oh, the interview. My pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. So now we are here with Amanda Lee. Yes. And I'm privileged that uh, I was reviewing some Blackview phones in the past. So there were so many good phones from really? Blackview. Yeah, so I was very happy. And first of all, you have this new phone here and you have the collaboration with FLIR. What was the intention to collaborate, collaborate with FLIR in the past? So what's the future and what was the intention? Okay, 
Actually, we started a cooperation with FLIR since uh, 2018. It's mm -hmm. a long time ago. And we released the first uh, Raji films with their camera since 2019. 19. And I think their uh, original intention of introduction the, of the thermal image camera was obsessed with everyday's challenges mm -hmm. and to uh, ensure the safety of our users, especially for the outdoor environment. For example, our users are policemen, the farmers, mm -hmm. and the electricians. So the people love their outdoor activities. They will need some tools to help them. Uh, for example, it can be survived from the very severe environment. It can be work in very deep and higher temperatures. And the FLIR camera can help the users to navigate their location and to avoid the very dangerous uh, animals, for example. And that is my favorite, yeah. Yes. yeah. And to uh, find the pets. Yes, we can use the uh, FLIR camera to check your temperatures. It's mm -hmm. very interesting. The, the foods, temperatures, the coffee, and we, we can see how, if the uh, food is fresh or not and can find your uh, dogs or pets in the yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, my yeah, favorite. That's very funny. Sure. Yeah, yeah, more about how, how, how can you use it? Or do you use it some some days in the in your home or somewhere? Yeah, yes. Actually, our users very in, has very uh, a lot of fun with this camera. Mm -hmm. They they, they uh, take some very interesting pictures using the camera. Different colors, you know, mm -hmm. because the temperature shows different color from the pictures. And right now, and this year, we upgrade the FLIR chipset. Mm. So the resolution will be more... Yeah, higher, higher. higher. Yes. Yeah, I know. Uh, we were talking about, Daniel, about the BL9000 probe. There are some standout features. Mm -hmm. What can you highlight? What do you like the most in this device? Ah, oh, that's very important because this is our uh, latest flagship Rajiv smartphone. And, uh, you know, the, we are not just uh, doing a Rajiv phone for the specific users. We are also listening the requirements, the, the a voice from the users. Mm -hmm. So the people buy a phone, they care about the camera quality, the voice quality, and uh, when we watch the TV, they, they care about the display. Mm -hmm. So Blackview improved all of these performance. So there are a lot of uh, innovative uh, technologies yes. in these new uh, latest uh, radio phones. For example, the, uh, the camera, this time is 50 uh, megapixels. From camera. from camera, so yeah, the user Taking can selfies. take very good, good selfie pictures. Yeah. this is and important yeah, nowadays. Yes. Like <laughs> catching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's more beautiful and yep. it has a beautiful mode. And also the rear camera, we enhance the performance with the Arcsoft uh, algorithms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's only for the flagship and high-end projects. Also, the uh, glasses is Corning Gorilla Glass seventh generation this time, mm -hmm. and so also. Strong. Also, we uh, improve the sensitive of the glass, mm -hmm. so the workers can wear the glove and use the phone directly. They don't oh, need yeah. to take off the glove. That is yeah. important. Also, sunny days. Also, you can see the our uh, we also improve the voice quality. He will let it to you. Yeah, you yeah. Want. The yeah. speaker we have uh, two speakers, and the speaker is from Harman Kardon, so uh, the users Harman can Kardon. enjoy very good voice quality when they watch the TV and listen to music. Yeah, the touch feeling is very good. Yeah. The quality. And, and still one, one more thing is, it's uh, not very huge, but the battery is very big. It's 8800. And so it also, lasts so yeah, long. Yes. That is it, important when can, you go and you do sports. Be, but it can be charged freely very fast. Mm -hmm. It's 120 volt. Yeah. Super fast charging. This is very important because uh, people using their mobile phone every day and mm -hmm. very often. So it can be charged very fast. And how can you imagine the future, either with FLIR, yeah. either in the mobile business? Actually, we are looking forward uh, to work with the FLIR this year, for example, to increase the resolution for the uh, camera, for mm -hmm. the uh, pictures when we're using the FLIR camera. Because, uh, for example, in previous uh, uh, rugged phones of our devices, the resolution of the FLIR, uh, the thermal image camera is not very uh, uh, good. Mm -hmm. the, the resolution, but right now we've already improved it, more clear, more good, uh, it's much better pictures. Yeah, and, I, I, uh, yeah. I reviewed it really yes, here, yes. I was testing. And, this is uh, not the best one, we're going to upgrade it later. Yeah, of course. Yeah, 
And in addition, or in addition, uh, this cutting edge uh, thermal image camera technology, we also uh, improve other performance. For example, the wireless charge. Mm -hmm. We're going to put the wireless charging to our rider phones in the future, and also the night vision cameras, mm -hmm. and also the fast charging. So we are listening the voice from the users. Whatever they want, we will consider to put into our uh, rugby phones. I think that's why you have more and more fans yeah, in the world. So yeah, I guess yes. uh, you should do that because the software is so important, the hardware also, yeah, yeah. night vision and thermal imaging sensor technology. So you have everything in this device. So bright future, I guess. Yes. Well, thank you very much for the interview. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for you. And really, say hello from the MWC 2024. See you later with very good Blackview phones. Thank you.